Trey Lance, arm 31 and a half, wingspan 76. Inches. When they ask you what you want to be when you grow up, it was always a professional athlete. People always tell you, you know, if you're great, they'll find you. But I think there are limitations to that. 224, 224. Being a small town kid, never getting any of those Power Five offers, I think there have been people that have doubted me, you know, to the point where I would ever even play here at North Dakota State, let alone even get here. Here is the next step for Trey Lance. The next opportunity to show NFL scouts, coaches, and executives who he is and what he's got, what he's always had. This isn't about competing. It's about converting. It's about keeping a promise to himself. Doubt. There have been plenty of people that I doubted me. My third grade teacher, me and my best friend used to get in trouble all the time just for being competitive. She came in, brought us in, uh, and told me I'd never play professional sports. The saying, dreams do come true, not really. Goals come true if you follow the right path and work to achieve your goals. He never had any doubt. Growing up in Marshall, Minnesota, Trey Lance decided early that only one position was worthy of his NFL dreams. I just remember playing catch with him probably between his freshman and sophomore year, and I was like, I said, why are you trying to throw the ball so hard through me? He said, I'm not. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it's just jumping off his hand a little bit more. I said, okay, you got a little something here. He could just make plays that other kids couldn't. He threw it off like his back foot, like across the field, and that was when I was like, okay, yeah, this, he's going places. I never had any doubts. Shoot, if you would ask my junior year, I would have thought that I was, I was gonna play quarterback at the University of Minnesota. Minnesota thought otherwise. It recruited him, but not as a quarterback. He got power five interest, but only as a playmaker, not play caller. I got everything from receiver to outside linebacker, uh, safety. Those are kind of the big three for most schools. Oh, when Trey learned that he was not being recruited as the quarterback for the University of Minnesota, that stung. Didn't matter what they saw in film, they were not going to recruit Trey Lance as a quarterback at these huge schools out of Marshall, Minnesota. No chance. There was no doubt. Uh, I wanted to play quarterback. My family knew that. You know, any other school that kind of wanted me at another position, that was, it was a pretty quick conversation. North Dakota State wasn't Power 5, but it was a powerhouse in the FCS, and it wanted Lance at quarterback. He redshirted as a freshman, but even then began to assert himself. He had a whiteboard and a, a marker, and we would go over plays on our own in our dorm and I had the opportunity to play right away and I still didn't understand things that he already knew. I was like, okay, one of you gotta start, somebody's gotta hold a clipboard. You just make sure that you leave no doubt, you know, which one you wanna be. Lance won the starting job in year two. Then he won over the doubters. The first game, it was like, holy shit, you know, these guys we've got five touchdowns here, <laughs> you know? Touchdown! Every week was like, you know, we're kind of just like, oh, you know, what's going on here? Lance cuts it up. He has the first down and more. Lowers the shoulder. Trey Lance. Touchdown! Oh, I don't know how he got out of that one. It was kind of a finally. And it's something that we didn't even know we were waiting for. Wow, this guy is electric. As a redshirt freshman, Lance led the Bison to a 16-0 record and their eighth national title. He ran for 14 touchdowns, passed for 28, and didn't throw a single interception. A ratio never seen in the history of the college game. Wide open in the end zone, touchdown! He processes very quickly at the line of scrimmage, and he processes very quickly uh, you know, in the pocket to make those progression reads. Lance looking, looking, throwing a slant! an extremely mature young quarterback as far as his pocket present, his awareness, and his ability to throw. You know, like he'd been there before. I don't know if it could have got any better. No one will ever know. The FCS postponed its 2020 season because of pandemic concerns, leaving the Bison with only one makeshift fall option. 
a single game against Central Arkansas. Breaks a tackle, there goes Trey, in the open field, a stiff arm, Trotter the baby! With more than two dozen NFL scouts in attendance, Lance rushed for 143 yards in the win, but only completed 50% of his passes and threw his first ever college interception. The first hit from Trey Lance. With 17 starts against FCS competition, some within the NFL consider Lance's pro potential the toughest evaluation of the draft. Touchdown! There's always going to be people that doubt me. There's always going to be, be little things, you know, his arm's not strong enough. He didn't play well enough a certain game or he doesn't get enough competition. Obviously, this next opportunity at the next level is, is something that people will continue to doubt me. And it's trade day touchdown! The pandemic ended his season, but not his NFL aspirations. The six foot four, 20 year old Lance declared early for the draft. And at his March Pro Day, with 30 teams in attendance, he threw 66 passes. But the number that matters to Lance is 29, as in April 29th, when the NFL's first round picks are chosen. The dream isn't interested in anything less. It was definitely a chip on my shoulder. People tell me, you know, regardless if someone tells you you're not good at, enough at something, uh, the competitor in me is going to want me to do it even better. If you're good, they'll find you no matter where you're, Division II, Division III, NAIA, it doesn't matter. They'll find you. And um, for Trey, they found him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.